welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. Key word there is international because today we have a beer from, I wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget because everything, I can't read on this. <laughs> I can't read a word on this. It's from Croatia. <laughs> yeah. Croatia. And I'm going to pronounce that Zuska, Zusko, Zuska. It's either Zuska or Zusko. I believe the O is silent, Zusko. Now, the only thing that's in English is what's here, this label that was slapped on by the importer. This is uh, from Molson Coors, believe it or not. No doubt. Molson Coors, uh, 500 milliliter, which is 16.9 ounces here in the States, 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, the name of the brewery and the name of the city is printed on here. I'm not going to attempt it. I will print it in the description box, but I'm not going to attempt it here. But uh, let's put it over here in my little bowl. I have a bowl now that I open cans on just in case. No doubt. Um, the uh, date is a Julian code, and it looks like this beer is only 62 days old which is not old at all for a, a lager style beer. Well, let's see what it uh, looks like. Oh, it's pouring out. Oh man, that is a, that is a nice pour for a, uh, a lager. Look at that beautiful golden color, beautiful clear, nice white foam on there, about an inch or so. Yeah. Very grassy and a little bit of spiciness in here. I don't know what kind of hops are in here, but when I get that kind of a, a spicy aroma, it always makes me think of Saz hops. And maybe, you never know, maybe it's in there. Oh, man. Let me uh, thank the brewers over there in, uh, where was that? Croatia? Croatia. Yeah, I had to write it down, man, because... Yeah, I'm not accustomed to having beers from Croatia. So let me thank the brewers here in Croatia. Uh, cheers to them and cheers to you at home, too, no doubt. It's not bad at all. Oh, man. It has a slightly, ever so slightly sweet finish to it. Not sugary sweet. Don't get me wrong. People who are not beer drinkers may not understand when I say it has a slightly sweet finish to it. And that, what that means is there's more malt in here than there is hops. And that's to be expected with what's known as a Euro lager. Euro lagers don't use a lot of hops like the American brewers do. And when I say American brewers, I'm not talking about the big three. Uh, no, I'm not talking about something like Miller and Budweiser or uh, even Pabst. Um, there's not a lot of bittering agent in here. But with that said, it's still a very easy drinking beer. There's nothing wrong with this beer whatsoever. Yeah, nothing wrong with it at all. It's leaving some nice lacing there on the side of the glass. So again, I'm going to pronounce it Jiska. Jiska or Jisku. Jiska. I bet that last, I bet that last O on there is not pronounced heavily either. Jiska. Jisku. I don't know. But it's number one. Number one beer in our country, yeah? Okay. <laughs> I got that from a movie. What was that? Uh, Mail Order Bride with, uh, oh, I can't think of that actor's name right right off the top. Danny Aiello. Yeah, he recently passed away, but Danny Aiello was in that movie. And that was a funny movie. Mail Order Bride about... Uh, some brides from Russia that come to America, take the Americans' money, and then they go back to Russia. So uh, the mob went over there to find them. Yeah, it's a funny movie. But uh, everything over there was number one doctor in Russia, number one vodka in Russia, number one everything in Russia. 
It was a good movie. <laughs> if you get a chance, watch it. But this uh, this beer is decent. I like it. I could see me buying some more of this, no doubt. Hey, life is short. Drink whatever you like, man. You got to be happy in life. Life is too short to worry about a beer. Yeah, I'm just giving you my opinion on this beer. It's decent. Like it. Love it. Leave it. Whatever. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. <laughs>